Crosscom activated. What's going on, y'all? This is Prince Arrington, and I'm in charge of all the testing for Grow Multiplayer on the Xbox 360. I'm going to be giving you guys some in-depth hints and tips straight from our test lab. So let's get started with specific strategies for a couple of multiplayer maps, Treasury and Nowhere. As you know, Treasury is a co-op campaign map as well as an adversarial game mode map. But right now, I'm going to focus just on adversarial strategies for both. So now I'm going to go through these two maps and point out specific locations that are good sniping points, treacherous danger zones, and places where you're likely to find campers. Let's go ahead and take an in-depth look at Treasury first. This map is a wonderful map for sniping because of its multiple elevated positions and lots of long, clean sight lines. First, let's talk about sniping points. As with most maps, the best sniping spots are along the edges surrounded by plenty of cover, and Treasury is no different. Also, with many elevated positions, snipers have their pick at prime locations with lots of viewable map space. But beware of enemies storming your sniper spot. A zoomed-in sniper is an easy target for an ambushing opponent. In terms of danger zones, the main danger zones in this map would have to be in the center of the map on the west and east sides of the bridge that splits the map in half. Anywhere in these areas is extremely dangerous to move unprotected, so watch your back. Now for the campers. Two prime spots for campers to set up shop will be on either end of the bridge. Some players like to sit at the top of the stairs on the bridge and wait for unsuspecting victims. Keep this in mind when you're trying to advance on the bridge area. There are tons of little details that can be figured out in Treasury. Keep these locations in mind when playing and use this information to your advantage. After implementing these tips, people will think you've been playing for months, just like our testers have been. Let's take an in-depth look at Nowhere, which just happens to be one of my favorite maps. In regards to sniping points, Nowhere has excellent cover and long sight lines, so sniping positions are plentiful. A few spots that we have found to be beneficial are on the west and east sides of the map. The two west locations are near the bend in the road, and the two east locations are around the billboards. From these spots, there are excellent viewing areas of the map with little interference. If the player is prone with the correct camo, it will blend seamlessly into the terrain and will be very difficult to spot. As for the danger zones, beware because they are everywhere on this map. In general, try to stay off the road at all costs. Most positions on the map have clear shots of the road, so you're likely to get pelted from all directions if you walk uncovered. There's also one location which is on the southwest part of the map that has proven to be tricky. If the player is coming down the hill towards the road, many spots at the bottom of the hill have cover. So these players can see up the hill and take you out if you're not careful. Here we go again with the campers. Places where you're likely to find campers are where the path and the road intersect. Campers like to set up along the road and wait for unsuspecting players to happen by. Also, at the bend in the road, there are two hollowed out building shells. Beware of campers in here. If you tactically move up to these positions, more than likely there will be a camper waiting to be ambushed. Well that wraps it up for this edition of Multiplayer Hints and Tips. We're excited about this game and I hope that these strategies will keep you guys playing online. This is Prince and I'll see you on live. Light him up!